uh, in any certain way. But I mean, we have uh, several of the storms. Notice the Hominy storm is the one that has the least amount of lightning showing up in those. Uh, so that is the one that you will want to uh, at least know that uh, there might be something good out of that. But more development is going on just on the west side of Tulsa at this time. Severe thunderstorm warnings there. Uh, we continue to see the tornado on the ground now in Moore. And so you see our storm chasers are right beside it, paralleling the storm. And you're getting the video firsthand of what it'd be like if you were actually right there. And I, I tell you what, we need to say a big prayer for folks in Moore once again. How they've been hit so many times, Tom was just mentioning. And it is a very deadly situation uh, for the folks down in that area. It's going through a highly populated, populous area uh, and uh, populated area. That's probably the best word. Uh, and that southeast side of Oakland. Um, you see more area that puts you in reference to what is going on with that particular cell. The, the rotation right over the more area and the uh, circulation so it's indicative of uh, what will be out of the, uh, a very large tornado that could do a tremendous amount of damage. Dick, I'm going to come to you in just a second if you could be ready with the storm track again of, uh, of what's going on with those storms up to our north and west, uh, especially for the ones that are near Halleck um, and moving into Eastern Osage County. I have a uh, couple of looks that I want to show you just in the Oklahoma City storm, only is where we hit direction before too long. Uh, the first is just the uh, the as over the area, and this is the center of the city is basically right in here. Um, so that's going on the south side. This will continue to track to the northeast. If this holds at a current rate, that will end up taking it a closer uh, into our viewing area in about an hour. Uh, close in at this time with Oklahoma City again just to the north. Here's the Moore area, and here's the tornado basically right there in Moore. And uh, we do not have a debris ball showing up yet. Uh, that is something new with the dual pole radar, which it should be popping up momentarily just because we know that there's a tornado there during an extent of it again. So things have been going on for a while. Uh, that is the good news for 